Hello fans, this is Meryl True Life Story. This story you are hearing is coming from Meryl True Life Story. That is the name of my channel, Meryl True Life Story. So like guys, this video you are watching right now, this is the protest going on right now in Nigeria. The whole youth of Nigeria have come out, even when the government, they try to stop it, using anti-protest to, <laughs> to protest against a peaceful protest. So like guys, you can see with your two eyes that there is a peaceful protest going on in Edo State, in Benin City especially. So this one you're watching right now is going on in Benin City right now. And you all can see that it is a peaceful protest. There is nothing like fighting, destroying or looting any properties. The, the protest is very peaceful. We are the youth have decided to come out to talk for themselves and fight for the future. Like guys, you need to hear what they're saying here. Like this is so awesome, awesome for the youth. Like we need a change. And to bad governance. Say, wherever you are, any government, wherever you are, please try to change. Now money, the money won't add thief too much. Men are slow down. I beg. We have youth, we have features, we have generation. Everybody not feel jack back more for the country. Somebody need to do something. So guys, this is Benin City. And this is Bayasa State. Yes. This one is going on right now, right now in Bayasa State. This is the protest in Bayasa State. You can also see there are police, there, there are soldiers, like the brought all the soldiers from, uh, I don't know where these soldiers, the, this is them, but presently we are seeing them here. And this protest is going on in Bayasa State, a very peaceful protest, a very calm and peaceful protest. All they want is end bad government rule us in a rightful way give us our rights give us our rights as a youth as a human being as a nigerian we need it the suffer the hunger everything is just too much you can't be treating us anybody where enter there go fully pocket when they fill their pocket and their generation pocket they come out remember six feet not everybody they go the money where you they fight for where other people take they in poverty you know go carry and go anywhere all of us go meet for the next world all with empty pockets yes that's it guys so let's go to the this is happening in k2 lagos yes this is taking place in k2 in lagos like you all saw what they did in lagos like lagos we are standing against this protest no it cannot happen they went as far as bringing out the traditionalists to swear that anybody that tried to do a protest the gods of the land will strike no gods of the land is strike <laughs> like those traditionalists in lagos like please relax no gods of the land is striking yes they are not striking anybody what is going on right now is against against the gods of the land lagos land is being spoiled it's being condemned the land needs cleansing those traditionalists they are fake traditionalists because if they know the writing they know that lagos land need the cleansing they need to go and do the cleansing which gods not say they swear like guys that is just to scare people they did not invoke any gods let's be sincere here there is no invoking of any gods there the people are crying for their rights they are fighting for their rights even the gods of the land are in support of them so oga carry your traditionalist center is as you know they work gone are those days one of the con they use fake thing to the threatening person so this is going on in ketu lagos even after they brought out their traditionalists to swear and everything everybody hold your children people are hungry when the gods are hungry then they buy when the gods are hungry when you don't serve them you don't give them their thing they can buy anybody so imagine we human beings that are also gods of our own so right now god the the, the um, after all the things that they said about nobody coming out swearing, people are still out there in Lagos. This one you're watching is happening right in Lagos, K2 Lagos. They still came outside to protest. So all those traditional swearing, people not fear to tell you that the country is really bad. And the youths are crying out. They should end bad government. Why must you all want to fool your pocket? Fool your generation pocket. Fool the next generation pocket. Back on Nollywood actors and actresses where they don't know their right and left, that did not study politics, they know nothing about politics because they are famous through Nollywood industry. All of them don't pack enter politics now, fighting against us. Those those actresses and actors that are in politics, 
they need to be bring down they are the cause of the problem of the youth of nigeria the moment they go there they start fighting against us and we are the one that make them popular the moment they set their feet into politics all the nollywood actors and actresses they will never and never be anything in politics their own will be only to the talk because they fade us totally they never enter they are using their powers against the masses so lagos people still came aside to protest against bad government yes okay guys let's go to the this is taking place in Uge, Ugeli Delta State. Ugeli Delta State. This is happening in Ugeli Delta State. Yes, you heard me right. In the Delta State, um, this is uh, a town called Ugeli. And these people are also out for a peaceful protest. For now, we are having a peaceful protest. Though they try to stop them. Yes, they try to stop them. They try to co want to command them. They try to like guys everything that they command this is protest your own is to make sure that peaceful protests go on that is your duty as a police because these protesters are not fighting for their pockets alone they are fighting for your generation most of our children are government school that they go this police i'm talking about the police i'm talking about the army most of them their children are in government school and the government school is not well it's not guaranteed because rain they fall they beat them sun they shine they beat them like there is no good education there is no good road there is no good thing so these protesters as all also fighting for you people as a police if they can fight for them to increase the minimum wage to 70,000 they can also fight to increase that wage for now to increase our money to increase everything good for the country so like guys this is going on in Ugeli in Delta State where there is also a peaceful protest even if they try to want to turn it around but no the people not agree they say a peaceful protest not the one for now this is for now this is happening for now so later we will still check so guys this is happening right in plateau state in plateau state okay in the northern part they are still out for the protest no matter anti-protest and what they say nigerians are hungry they still come out in plateau state this is going on in plateau state you can see a very peaceful protest they just want to end the bad government that is what they are asking for and it's not too much like guys come to the aids of nigeria we are suffering nigeria is suffering not everybody can eat three times a day baba tinibu not everybody can eat three times a day we all know that you are a good chef giver <laughs> according to what they say people close to you that's why a lot of people are running into apc because um baba Tilibu is a good chef giver so please remember us remember what we are doing this process for and come to the aid of your people come directly to we nigerians forget all those people where you sit down by your side those who want to belay through their pockets come directly to we nigerians come to our aid so guys this is the where the protest is not peaceful in kanu kanu states <laughs> we've talked we've talked about every other state you see the peaceful uh, protest this is kanu you can see that kanu they are not taking it easy they are going into war they start looting they start breaking they start setting a blaze like kanu people you know the northerners are not happy because according to them i've done the video before i'm just still putting it here uh because this is another update again you can see this is another update like i said i will always be updating you people about the protest so this is going on right now in kano and in kano right now these people that you, that you can see here they've started looting and right now um the the security operative washing as protesters vandalized be bored at kabunga flyover kano so this is um a flyover in Kano, and they climbed this big board, a very large one for that matter, destroyed every pictures of all the governors or the god president and so on destroy everything like they have been looting the protest in kanu is not a peaceful protest this is not what we wanted we wanted a peaceful protest for the government to come to our hearing but right now we don't know if these are the people that will really want to protest or these are people paid to do this thing to make the protest seems like um like uh 
a war protest so like guys we don't really know you know in northern part there are a lot of things going on there and according to the northerners they say they are the ones suffering the most so we don't really know so right now the information you're getting right now in mero true life story is that this um kanu protest is not peaceful like it is not peaceful kanu has been the first uh con first city right now where the protest has become war like they are chasing they've chased all the all the governments the house of representatives they chased all of them out of their place of duty and they have taken over kanu for now like kanu is hot right now and and uh, the formation is that they they, are, they they came out massively like in kanu they came out massively for this protest like they say they want their rights back because they've been stealing their rights they tell them who to vote they tell them when to vote they tell them everything now they said enough is enough they have been the victim of this whole thing like guys this is the protest happening right in nigeria right now so leave your comments in the comment section if you are a nigeria or non-nigeria let us know what you think for this nonsense this Kanu protest right now is the only protest that is causing war. The other states are all in peaceful protest. So, see you guys in my next video. This is Mero True Life Story.